Hello and welcome to today's special broadcast. With the help of my trusty assistant, I so hungry, I will investigate the great mystery of the five stages of standards development. Hey Andy. Hi Iso, how are you? I'm good, thanks. You? Oh, pretty good. What's up? I'm trying to find out how ISO makes standards. How does it work? Well, it all starts with uh, when someone has a great idea for an international standard. So it can be on anything. Uh, something to make food safer to eat, a new technology for green transportation, or even a step-by-step -step guide for making sock puppets so that no important things are forgotten. Ah, so anyone can send an idea to ISO for something they want to standardize? Well, not exactly. Uh, our rules say that it must come from an ISO member body or an ISO technical committee or one of the many organizations that participate in ISO's work. Ah. Yeah. So what happens then is ISO will check to see if there's a global market need for this standard proposal. It's done by asking countries to vote. And so if it's approved, uh, the proposal gets added to an ISO committee's work program. I see. Yeah. So, if a sock puppet making proposal is approved by an existing committee, what happens next? Can I help write it? I type well. Well, that's great, ISO. But uh, as you know, we have ISO members. These are the national standards bodies. There can only be one member per country, and they can choose to actively participate in a committee. And we call them P members, okay? They're participants. Now these P members can nominate experts to write the standard. And other organizations who work with us, the liaisons, they can also nominate experts. So all of them then get together to write the draft standard. And this takes place in the working group. Ah, so experts work together and then what? Well, first the experts have to agree on the document once it's finished. And then the document is sent up to what we call the parent technical committee, or the TC for review. So unlike the working group, which is made up of the ac experts who write the standard, the TCs are made up of national representatives. I see. Andy, I brought a CD. I want to dance. Not this kind of CD. We're talking about the CD stage of a standard. This is the committee draft. So in this stage, the committee or subcommittee shares the draft standard they receive from the working group, like we talked about before, with other experts in their countries for comment. So once the member bodies receive feedback from these national experts or stakeholders, as we call them, they will then vote to approve or disapprove the draft. So this is the first stage where comments from national standards bodies are considered? That's right. Wow. This is serious stuff, like me. Serious puppet. Wait, ISO. Don't forget the committee draft is now optional. <gasps> Why? Well, if the working group concludes that the draft standard is of good quality and thinks it's ready to move forward, then they can ask the parent committee or subcommittee to skip this stage altogether and go directly to the next stage, which is the DIS. Who's dissing who, Andy? Nobody's dissing anybody, ISO. The DIS stands for the Draft International Standard. What happens when a standard reaches this stage? The committee will send it to ISO Central Secretariat, and then we take that draft and send it to all ISO member bodies for voting. Oh, so up till now only P members could vote? Now all ISO members can vote? Can I vote? Well, not you, but all members can vote, but it's an obligation for the P members to vote. So how does the disk get approved? Okay, so here's what you need. First, you need two-thirds of the P members in the committee that developed the document to approve it. And you don't want any more than one quarter of all the votes cast to be negative. So if you've met both of these conditions, you have the consensus that you need to move on to the next stage. Cool. Do I get that pizza now? Hey, Isa. Hi, Andy. So, what happens next? 
Okay, so if the disk ballot is closed and the vote passed with only very minor changes, then we can publish it as an international standard. But what if there were lots of comments on the disk vote? In that case, the committee will go through an extra stage, which is called the Final Draft International Standard Stage. Here, all the comments are considered, then all members vote on the updated draft. Mm. But members can still submit comments? No, at, at this stage, they have to approve the document as it is. So if they vote against it, they have to give a technical reason why. I see. Yeah, so just like the DIS, the FDIS is approved if two-thirds of the P members and the committee approve it, and no more than one quarter of the total votes are negative. So with the final draft international standard approved, we can finally move on to the last stage. Publication! Publication.